so guys today in this video we will have a look on octavi os new update for redmi k20 pro so as you can see on about section the octavi os version is 2.8 official and security patch you will get here is the latest which is of august 20 uh, sorry 5th august 2021 and you will also get the upstreamed soviet kernel with this update and if you have recovered your l1 from xiaomi eu or any other miui rom it will persist here as this rom is still based on a10 but it do have a11 blobs now guys let's go into the settings and first we will take a look at battery settings so this is how battery page on octavio s looks like you will get the thermal profile option here but there is no touch sampling rate uh, settings available for gaming thermal profile uh, smart charging or oh sorry battery manager or adaptive battery is present smart charging is also present and it works like it should be and at the bottom of this page you will get battery capacity battery charging cycles and all that info and about the battery backup so in my usage actually i use my phone uh not that um actually my usage is usage is not that heavy means i don't play games or uh, things like that but i stream videos on youtube and ex means uh, this kind of normal stuff so i get around 8 hours to 8 hours 20 minutes of battery backup on this build and this is less than what i get on other oss vendor based rom so battery backup is definitely not that great in this build or in this rom actually now let's go to the system settings so in system settings you will get the front camera settings and the options like motor calibration front camera race dialog and front camera pop-up music is available here uh, next option is of gesture so quickly open camera gesture navigation power menu adaptive playback so adaptive playback is not working in this build actually it is not it was not working in previous build also so it uh, doesn't work in octavio s we can say skip music track all these options are available and if we go into the navigation settings so for gesture settings you will get all the advanced and basic settings related to the gesture navigation you also get advanced gesture settings so we get all the settings related to gesture here now guys octavi lab so octavi lab is a dedicated customization center we get in octavi os and with this update octavi lab main page got ui overhaul and now it looks more clean and more organized compared to the previous one so you will get all the customization related to your phone you can change the status bar setting quick settings notification gesture bar setting or net gesture uh, pill setting each and every setting is available here you just have to explore what you want to change and what you want to customize you can even change the oneplus clock uh, you get on quick set quick setting panel so quick setting panel clocks are also available means i think there are three clocks available for that so you can explore and see what suits you and custom and you can customize your phone according to your liking you will also get the gaming mode settings here gaming mode smart pixel sensor blocking each and every setting is present here so you just have to explore what octavi labs actually offer and what suits you the best and you can customize according to that now let's talk about default camera application which we get on octavi os so we get google camera as a default camera application which ships with this rom and we have to check actually what camera version what google camera version is this actually previously it was bsg but now it is mgc google camera application so everything in this camera application works fine and about anx camera 190r so anx camera 190r is having some problem operating with this rom but anx camera 180r 185r works super fine here and if you need any help regarding how to install anx camera 185r on your mobile please refer to the card on the top right hand corner actually here i am using vanilla version of octavi os so my messaging app and default camera or default phone app is aosp based means these are not google apps and this is what phone app looks like it is kind of redesigned to look like oxygen os dialer or you can say oneplus dialer and in this dialer you will also get auto call recording or manual call call recording option which works super fine and it actually records the call whenever you will hit the recording button it actually records the call and the recording actually plays 
सो इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट वन प्लस वन प्लस डायल अप पोर्ट और ए पी के सो लेट मी गिव यू एग्जाम्पल्स हियर सो आई हैव रिकॉर्डेड दिस कॉल एंड एज यू कैन सी इट वर्क एंड इट प्लेस सो यू कैन रिकॉर्ड द कॉल विदाउट नोटिफाइंग द अदर पर्सन ओवर द कॉल सो दिस इज क्वाइट अ नाइस थिंग Now, if we go to the Google Photos, so Google Photos spoof is also updated here. Previously, we used to get uh, unlimited unlimited storage in storage saver quality, but now with this update, we will get unlimited storage for original quality of video and photos upload on Google Photos. So this is quite a nice thing. You can upload your original quality photos and videos over the Google Photo. Next, let's check. fingerprint scanner so i feel fingerprint scanner is little bit on the slower side from aod if you will use the fingerprint scanner from aod it is little bit slower as compared to siberia or shift shift os but from lock lock screen it it is fast and it works super fine and other security option you will get here is of uh, face unlock which is uh, which works super fine and there is no problem regarding it app locker so app locker is also there and there is a glitch as you can see on the screen so this glitch still exist but app locker works super fine here and now let's do a small memory management test for this build of octavio s so one by one i will open some apps which are on my home screen and as usual i will fast forward this app opening session to save some time and video length so after the, all the apps are open we will reopen all the apps in normal speed so let's see so the first application which was dialer so it was it is in memory and rest of the apps are also in memory till now play store is in memory instagram reloaded so, and telegram is in memory youtube reloaded and youtube music also reloaded here spark post adobe spark post also reloaded but the wallpaper app is in memory and both the wallpaper apps are in memory but uh, rest of the apps reloaded so memory management is not so good in this build but if you will open two to three apps it will remain in the memory but uh, if you open five to six or seven to 10 apps then it will some apps will crash safety net is passed out of the box in this build and uh, benchmark result is right in front of you so the benchmark score are quite good but uh, memory management is not that good but this rom is definitely good for gaming you will get around 56 to 58 constant fps on pubg so this rom is definitely good for uh, gaming and normal usage is also good actually only the uh, memory management fails only when you open 8 to 10 apps together but uh, generally people only open 3 to 4 apps simultaneously in a time so memory management will be fine and you can definitely use this rom as a daily driver or for gaming purpose so guys that's all for this video and i will see you in the next one till then goodbye and take care